What is up, my Uriel Collective? Let's see what we got for you. What's the update of your counterpart in this collective? Hmm? Well, I sense that this person... Okay. This person really wants to express to you... Um, they're in a, they're in a state of mourning and nostalgia when it comes to you. This person has done a lot of self reflecting on what their priorities were. They were very much focused in the moment and not on the future. Now it's great. We need to, We have to have a balance of both. We have to be focused on right now, but we do have to plan for future events. We do have to be ready to live in this three D world. But let our soul be guided by every moment. This person, this person's younger than you. They got a little more growing to do. But let's see, what, what part of their spiritual journey are they on? What status are they on? Let's do a little energy checkup with you. Because at this moment, I sense that it's still not time to bring them forward movement. Not with your collective. Then we have one little bad boy hanging out under there. All right, that's our spread. Let's see what we got for you, my Uriel Collective. Starting with our tarot. We always start with tarot. Okay. Bada bing, shada boom. Yeah, so this person definitely still sees completely the new beginning with you. This is their energy. This is your energy. 1,000%. Yeah. Their energy. So... The rainbow body in reverse number 23. So they, yeah. Yeah, so they want to express. They want to open themselves up. And if you were to contact them, I, I do sense that they would reciprocate. The endings uphand. I represent this with the death card. Ending the old to bring in a new. I sense that this person is ready for a new beginning with you. Are they still... Under the pot, they feel, this person feels like they're ready for the new beginning with you, but there's something about that they feel controlled by their life. Almost like they want to free their surroundings. Maybe they are living in a situation where they don't have much control. Maybe this is feeling controlled by society's norms. But nonetheless, what I see is currently they feel... Like you would be their saving grace. This person misses your safety. See, with this marriage and then the potential for success, both up hand, they completely still see a full timeline with you and they aren't fighting the way they feel about you anymore. And they know that before they could bring you in this clarity, or before you would be willing to bring them in clarity because they know that you're, you're both spiritually aligned. You know what's going on with each other and they can feel that you have disconnected. They can feel that you still love them, but you're, you got too many things to worry about. You got too many things that your mind needs to focus on to, to, to entertain somebody that's not fully grown enough for you yet. So I sense that they completely see this. They're ending. They're in the process right now of like going ahead and getting whatever they are out of their system. And they're going ahead and having those life, very, very important life lessons and seeing things for themselves as they should. This is your energy. So we have the full in reverse, not willing to take the new beginning. The Knight of Swords up hand. Understanding the perils, understanding that you like you got it, you got it. This is a team. If you bring in that forward effort, you can go forward. Money coming up hand, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. So, specifically with love, not having any beginning. This is what I what I take with this, my friend. Your energy is you're you're over this. You're not willing to to go backwards. You love this person from afar. You want to see them have a new beginning. You would, you, you would love to believe that this is possible, but it just, it just isn't. You see, this, you're focused on your finances. You're focused on going forward for yourself.
the last thing you're worried about when it comes to this person is bringing them a new beginning. You want this person to have a new beginning of life. You are a driving factor for them. Okay. But yeah, this energy, I can see very much you are in tune with either like you have, you want to bring somebody else a forward movement. There's something about this energy. It's like you just like, uh, it's the intensity of either you're just really focused on only you or there's completely somebody else that has your center focus. And you are not used to, you're not used to feeling such a connection with somebody, but at the same time knowing you're not supposed to be with them when it comes to this person. Yeah. Wow. So they're, they're doing the work. You're both listening to the guidance. They completely still see a timeline together. So let's continue on with the Oracle cards and see what we got. Start with Chelsea Gomez. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have for that person's energy, we have denial up hand, anxiety up hand, in the future up hand, truth and done in reverse. So what I sense is this person, um, they're about to go through another tower moment. They're in denial. Uh, they're in denial about releasing old toxic habits. They're in denial about why they can't get out of like the rut they feel they're in, and they feel a lot of anxiety over not knowing what's going on in your life. I sense they are about to go through another tower moment. Okay. Uh This is interesting energy, and I would suggest you stay away from this for now. Something doesn't feel good. There's like a lesson. There's something coming around for them. Um, and they really need to complete this, whatever this is, by themselves. I sense that this person, their karma would become yours if you don't disconnect. Okay, you've grown, you've learned, you've experienced your cause and effects. Your law of karma is now in a highest timeline. Your law of karma is in your favor. Okay, because here's the thing. Karma is always going around, coming around. It's karma doesn't mean something bad. Karma doesn't know the words bad and good. Karma knows level, energy, frequency, positive, negative, high and low vibrations. Your law of karma is very high vibrational. You have a lot of what we would call good coming back to you because of what you're giving the world and because of the real shit and how you're taking care of yourself and how you've owned your shit and overcame and shut off what no longer serves. Your karma is leveled and in your highest timeline, don't slip backwards for anybody. So there is um, something of a cycle that they... I feel like the very big understandings I have with them is simply when it comes to you. That they know they have so much more growing to do and they know that they really can't reach out or it wouldn't be good if they reached out. It wouldn't be a the, the it wouldn't be the ending they it wouldn't be the outcome they wanted. But when it comes to what they have to do to get them out of this situation, to stop doing the toxic habits, hanging around the toxic people or etc. That's still cycle repeating and some tower moments about to hit them. And it's part of their spiritual awakening. They have to go through this. Just like when it was your time, when you're far over that, don't allow their karma to become yours. So 
but your energy. We have that seven of cups in reverse. We have planning up hand. Karma up hand. I don't want to know. In reverse, meaning complete open truth. Complete um, what you are sending this person. It's not. It's like if you're sending any energy to them, it's this. So the seven of cups in reverse. You're showing. That you're saying this person that I don't. Uh, I'm worried on my fruition, and I won't let anybody stunt my family or my own growth. With planning and karma being up hand, I always take the law of karma card up hand as you have high vibrational karma. I'm not saying if it would have been pulled in reverse, that means that all this bad stuff's happening to you. No, it's just telling us we need to focus on something. But what I sense right now is you're following your intuition so much and your law of karma is at your highest frequency. You go into things with planning. You just don't, you don't just do things without no action anymore. You want people and expect and know you're deserving of a partner who matches this frequency. I don't want to know. The energy you're sending this person is I don't want to know what's going on in your life because it's not serving my highest timeline. Because I have to disconnect and love you from afar. I want you to be in your highest timeline and I know for you to be in your highest timeline you must experience these experiences. So, Uriel Collective, you are to continue putting yourself first. And if there are other um, love interests, if there are other people in your life, those are the ones you should be pursuing. This person has their cause and effect to deal with, as everybody does. And if you don't know something, it's because you're not supposed to. Okay? Alrighty. And one last thing they want me to let you know is the phoenix bird may be a big sign for you, rising from the ashes, being reborn. They want you to know that just because you disconnect and you don't want to know what's going on with this person does not make you an evil person, does not mean that this, this person has it only within them to save their own life, to rise from their own ashes as you did. You have gotten yourself out of a really, really hard life. Spirit wants you to remember that if you're supposed to know something, they will make sure you know it. And if you're not, don't go trying to do seek all this knowledge about people that aren't serving your eyes timeline. Spend that time, that energy looking for truth and clarity within self and with others what's in front of you and let's top it all off with these because everything is not what it seems so with the law of intuition cards all the cards that are out are what you're sending the universe and then the cards that are inwards are what the universe is giving you so from you picking you, what are you sending to the universe? And also, what are you sending in the protecting your energy, but still them getting something? What are you sending this person? Home sweet home. Your home and family matters require your love, attention, and care. Soar. You're getting ready to fly high above all of your obstacles and embrace life in the most magical way. Six, divine timing. What you are working on now is divinely guided. And kindred souls. You are currently experiencing many changes in your relationships and friendships. And this is also five, six. And gentle moderation. Take your time. Pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you are trying to accomplish. So you are, by you picking yourself, you're helping this person actually pick themselves in whichever situation it is that they need to release. 
a humongous factor of what's causing this person to put themselves in these scary, unsafe situations emotionally and possibly in physical reality world is they're trying to escape um, their home setting. This person isn't accepted by their family or they feel like the outcast. They try to run away and that's what gets them in a lot of sticky situations. You've given this person a lot of patience and understandance. And therefore the, the universe is showing you how much... The universe is showing you truly how in tune with your divine feminine you are without you had ever realizing it. How much you are able to give people nurture, compassion, sympathy. Showing you how much you've matured. That's what this relationship, that's what this person showed you. How much you matured and your frequency has raised. And that you can love somebody but know that they don't have the best intentions for you. So they can't be part of your life. There's a possibility that in, in, in due time, with divine timing, if this person follows their intuition, has their tower moments, faces them, and upgrades that you guys can be in each other's life again, but from what I sense, my friend, they got, they got a lot of growing to do. They're going to be okay. Their freedom of will, their reality is not yours. You do not accept their energy. You accept your energy in your highest timeline. So what are you getting back from the universe? From everything you've done? Your law of karma is high vibrational. What is your law of karma giving you? No number 32, divine plan. Your soul has a master blueprint of your life path that holds within it. And it will never steer you in the wrong direction. Your divine path steered you to this person. And you felt when, they, when, when it said, no, it's time to go other way. This person helped, you felt two things, two intensities with this person. You felt the universe tell you this person's part of your destiny, bring you completely together, and they also made you feel the feeling of now it's time to completely separate. Within one person, you were able to experience the intensity of two feelings. Therefore, you're able to completely, when you're looking at two different people, remember what it was like with that one person to feel both things. And tell the difference when it's two different people. Meaning like that person, the spirit's guiding them. I'm supposed to allow that person in my life versus the energy of no, that person's supposed to stay away. You learn that lesson. You learn it with many people, but it's solidified with this person. You're both, you're both part of each other's divine plan. You're both meant to experience each other. Then we have the number 23 and 32. So 2332. Two. Interesting. Yeah, my friend. If you were supposed to know more about them, spirit would guide you. But what I sense is your divine plan furthering on is to experience those other entities. Experience those other people. And allow this person to continue their spiritual journey. That's what I got for you, my friend. All right. Let's get it.